In this video, we take a look at how to back up and restore your Windows 7 registry. Now, I've been getting a lot of emails from people asking me how to uh, import a registry uh, backup once the system doesn't boot. So, I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to do that. So, what we've got here is a Windows 7 operating system, and what we need to do first is make sure we've got a backup of our Windows 7 registry. So, we need to type regedit inside the run bar. Okay, then what we need to do is go file and we need to export. Now you've seen this of me do this on loads of different Windows operating systems. This works on all Windows operating systems. So click export. And then we need to type registry backup, like so. Now you can call this whatever you like, but I'm going to call it registry backup. Okay, now I'm just going to leave this on the desktop for this video, but you should put it in a safe place. Okay, so we're going to let that do its thing. And as you can see, that's now backed up the registry. And as you can see, it's 75.2 megabytes in size. Now, assuming that you've got one of these already stored somewhere on your system, this is what you need to do. You need to reboot to a CD, uh, Windows CD, and actually go to the command prompt. We're going into system recovery options and getting into the command prompt. So, what you're going to need to do is reboot the system to a Windows CD. So, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to leave this on my desktop as I said, so the command will be slightly different for you guys depending on where your location is of this file. So, let's restart. Okay, so we need to push any key to boot to CD. This will load up. Now this is a real life saver, it's a really important thing to do is backing up the registry and also making system images and stuff like that. I still see today, even though Windows 7 is out, people still not backing up their machine and it's uh, pretty foolish really because once you get into problems you lose all your data so it's a good practice to get into. So let this load up. Okay, so we've got to this screen now. What we need to do here is click next. And what we want to do is make sure, don't click install now. You want to come down to this little tab here that says repair your computer. Okay, click on that and let it do its thing. It's just scanning for Windows installations. Once that's finished that, OK, it's finished that now. OK, it's located on D. So what we need to do here is make sure we're going to um, use this recovery uh, tool here. You don't want to do this one, OK? You don't want it on that one. You want it on this top one, OK? So next is go next. And then this brings up this box here. So what we need to do here is go command prompt. Now from there, we've got our little window open and what we need to do is type in disk part so we need to go disk part like so push enter and this will uh, bring up our disk part command prompt line there so what we need to do is go list volume like so and this will tell us all the information that we need okay now yours may be different here so just remember what I'm doing is to show you what to do to find out your information because your information is going to be different to mine okay now we're going to be using the D drive here now obviously if Windows is used um, used 200 megabytes installation partition then you will need to change that you will need to make it D uh, instead of C so it's not always C sometimes it's D you need to check okay Okay, now we've done that, uh, we need to type exit, and this is exiting, exiting uh, this part, and once we've done that, we can now type our command. So what we need to do here is type reg, edit, like that, space, forward slash s. Okay, that's a silent import command, so what we're going to do is d, colon, backslash, and then users, Okay, make sure it's users and not user, and then backslash, and then mine's going to be Brightech. Okay, that's my username, that's where you need to put that in, and then we need to do desktop because that is the location where I've put my backup file. So, your location will be slightly different to this here. 
you need to make sure that you've put in the destination of where your backup file is okay your registry backup I should say so now we need to do registry backup now mine was all one word um, dot reg make sure you put a dot reg on the end otherwise it won't work and then basically that's going to import that registry file into the registry and then all we need to do now is push enter and that's it it's done okay now if you had a corrupt registry at that stage that should fix the registry and put that back okay from your registry backup okay so what we need to do here now is type exit and then we can restart the system so what I'm going to do is restart the system I don't want to make sure you take the CD out I've not took the CD out but I'm just going to let it run so it just boots up and as you can see it should boot up ok but if there was a corruption on there it would boot and you should be up and running again so we'll let this load in ok and there you have it we're back at our desktop ok so I hope you've enjoyed this video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy my videos please show your support and hit that subscribe button guys and remember rate for all my videos. If you've got any questions or problems head over to the forum that's brightechcomputers.co.uk forward slash forum. Okay I will put a link on the bottom of the video so you can actually go there. So if you've got any problems get over there and we're trying to help you out. Okay thanks for your support guys thanks for watching bye for now.